This is an example of a redox reaction called disproportionation. Disproportionation occurs when you have one element that is being both oxidized and reduced in the same reaction. So in this case, we're dealing with the sulfur. This, the charge of the sulfur in sulfate is plus six. The charge of this sulfur ends up being plus two, and this sulfur ends up being plus four. And I determine those using my oxidation number rules. Okay, you can visit another video if you're unsure of those. So the difference when we have disproportionation here is you might notice that when we have two reactants, we're going to have the one product. So that can cause a bit of bit of grief. There's a couple of ways to tackle this, but probably the easiest way to do it would be simply to write another H2SO3. Remember, they're never just going to have one. So what I'm going to do here is go, I'll rewrite this. I have sulfate plus S2O3 produces H2SO3 and another H2SO3, which I'll just put a different color to keep it straight. Now, you wouldn't, wouldn't have to rewrite this again, but normally I would just write it probably over here, but for the sake of space and clarity, I'll rewrite this again. So, um, now I have two partners. I can have this SO4 turning into that one, and then I can have this S2O3 turning into this one. So now I can treat these as separate entities, as though they are different, even though they're not. Okay, and if you don't do something to this effect, then you're going to have a problem with these disproportionation questions. They're just not going to work out. So, as before, we're going to first balance everything that is not oxygen or hydrogen. So, with my SO4 half reaction, I've got one S here, got one S over here, they're fine. For the S2O3 half reaction, two S's, one S, so that doesn't work. So, I've got to put a two in here. Now we're rolling. Get my oxidation numbers, plus 6, plus 2, plus 4, and still plus 4 over here. So now I have two partners to determine my electron loss and gain, just as normal. So for this one, I've got going from plus 6 to plus 4. Oxidation number is getting more negative, therefore I am gaining electrons. Let's write that down again. If oxidation number is getting more negative, that means we are gaining electrons reduction. If oxidation number is getting more positive, that means I am losing electrons, it means I'm being oxidized, which is what's happening with the S2O3. Going from plus 2 to plus 4, that's a loss of two electrons per S, but there are two S's in S2O3, so four electrons overall for the S2O3. All right, and so and for the sulfate to, to a sulfurous acid, it was a gain of two electrons overall. Okay, so I've balanced my atoms other than O and H. I have determined my oxidation numbers. I have now determined my electron loss and gain. Next step, just with the other ones, I gotta balance my electrons. Right, electrons, charge, and atoms all have to be balanced. So I've got a two electron gain, four electron loss, we have to multiply my sulfate half reaction by a factor of two. Okay, so I put a two here and a two there. Okay, so that's good. My electrons are now done. Now for my charge, I'm in acid. So as you recall, the, when you're dealing with the charge, the sum of the reactants charge must equal the sum of the products, take into account coefficients. So in this case, for my reactants, what do I have? I've got 2 times negative 2 
plus another negative 2. So I've got negative 6 for my reactants right now and 0 for my products. Now I'm in acid, so I'm adding H plus. Put 6 H plus on my reactant side. Alright, so now my charge is balanced. Done with that step. Then the last step to balance my atoms, remember I have to add in water. Okay, charge is done, electrons are done. So now this is a case where you have to be careful because okay, I've got H's and O's all over. So at this point, I have six H's on my reactant side. Clean this up a little bit. Six H's on my reactant side, but on my product side, I actually have eight. I've got four here and four more there. So I've got eight H's overall on my product. Which means I need two more H's on my reactants. So I actually need just one add in one more water on my reactant side. Okay, and there you go. So overall net reaction, one water plus six H pluses plus two sulfates plus S2O3 produces two H2SO3s and another two H2O, H2SO3s. Well, that's not very clean. So let's clean that up a little bit. Write it again up top. And no matter how you do this, there's a lot of steps. So that's why these questions are a bit of a pain in the butt. Net reaction, 6H plus, plus 1 water, plus 2 sulfates, plus this thiosulfate S2O3, produces 4 H2SO3. And there you have it. That was a whole lot of steps for one little reaction, but that's unfortunately how they go. You won't see a ton of these for sure, but they are absolutely fair game.